Hi, hi, I'm here. Today I'm going to do a boil test on this BIOS clone that I got on eBay. A couple of things about this. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. Um, this one, it's very similar. All of these pretty much work the same way. They're a double walled alcohol stove. Uh, <clears throat> just like the white box type stove that I got on eBay too where it's a uh, can that's been cut off, the up top's been put in upside down and in this case it was riveted together but this is a double wall so the alcohol goes down in here, goes through the small holes on the bottom and vaporizes in the double wall this one's just different because it's made by one piece where the can's been rolled over on itself to make a double wall. I hope you can see down in there. A lot of times people call these rollover stoves too. I'll leave a link down below to where you can see a really good video on how to make these. <coughs> Excuse me. If you look on the Zen and Art of Alcohol Stove site, again I'll leave a link down below. It'll talk about these and I think the definition of this stove is a side burner jet alcohol stove or a hybrid one maybe. Now I'm not sure, this stove more reminds me of uh, cobalt stoves rather than the bio stoves. The last time I looked at any of the sites that covered the bios when they were first made, it wasn't a one piece stove like this, it was a two piece just like the white box. So maybe things have changed. Well a couple of things have changed on this. Before when they did this rollover, they used to drill holes on the inside here, one or two, just through the one layer of the inner layer of the rollover. Because what happens is like the other day that video that I showed you where the alcohol would bubble up through the uh, burner once you put the pot on. So you put alcohol in here and if this thing is made too perfectly and you have a good flat pot, which I don't have to worry about that with this, it's all bent up. But if you had a good pot and you make your stove perfect, when you put it on like that, it seals off the alcohol totally. So when vapor pressure builds up in here, it would tend to either lift the pot or squirt alcohol out through the jets. So earlier what people did was they would uh, drill a, a single one or two holes on the inside here up near the top so that whatever vapor pressure formed here would go through these holes and out through the jets. Now it looks like what they're doing is, can you see that? They put crimps, three crimps here on the top, so that now when the pot goes on here, it can't lay perfectly flat on the stove. These little bumps give you just a little bit enough space to let whatever vapor alcohol gets out through that. Boy, I'm talking again. <clears throat> so... I don't know, like I said, this reminds me more of the cobalt stoves. Again, I'll leave some links for that down below. What I'm going to do today is do a boil test, but let's, I'm going to set up my camera, camera two. I'll put some alcohol in here and let's see how fast it comes to a bloom. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my second camera going here. I put a couple of milliliters of alcohol in here. Let's light this and see how long it takes to come to bloom. Um, I may have screwed up. I don't know. I'll have to look back and see what I said on the other camera. The BIOS, B-I-O-S, stands for basic... Now I'm goofing it up again. Basic in-out system, I think, is what it stood for. But, uh, you know, what the heck. I'm a computer programmer, so I may have rattled off what BIOS means to me. Okay, so there we've got the open flame, and here comes some, now there's 30 jets on this, and it looks like they may have been made with a, uh, maybe a number 41 drill, so that was pretty fast. So that's what it looks like. Uh, I put the specs down below as far as the dimensions and everything on this instead of rattling it off now, but I'm going to let this run out, cool off, 
and I'll be back for a test. Boy, that didn't last long. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my water set. One fluid ounce of methanol in here. Let's light that. See how long it takes to come to a bloom. Let's see. Uh, like I said, even though this is called a BIOS clone, I'm... Well, you watch the videos that I list down below, and you tell me. This looks to me more like a clone of a uh, cobalt stove. But, uh, now this is a little bit shorter. Uh, the other stoves, it's a bud can. You know, one of these coddles, rather. It's a bud coddle, and usually they got the U standing out here. That it's, you see BU, but this one's down to the B, so it's a little bit smaller. A little bit shorter than what they usually are. I was really surprised. I had some alcohol in here, and it just ran right out on that little burn test that I did earlier. It's taking longer for the jets this time. Now I let this come back to room temperature, which is 78 degrees. There we go, we're starting to get... There we go, we got a blossom. Again, 30 jets. So, two cups of water, sitting at, oh, 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 123 degrees Fahrenheit. Nice flame here. I hope that the uh, camera's focusing in. Looks like this is made four large pots like this. I don't know if a, you know, like one of the small titanium mugs would work because the jets are coming out pretty far. Now it is 30 jets around here. It's about, what did I measure? Uh, from the jets to the bottom of the pot is about 0.52 inches or 13.4 millimeters. The jets are about, yeah, the same size. 0.52 inches down from the top of the stove. Okay, so let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 524. So that was two cups of water. Starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 5 minutes, 24 seconds. Kind of disappointing. It's not much faster than the uh, fancy feast wick stove that I did the other day. But let's see how long it goes for run out. Okay, the flames are going, going, gone at 751. 751. Hmm. I have to admit that was a little disappointing. Uh, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes 24 seconds and then ran out in 7 minutes 51. That was with one fluid ounce of methanol. Room temperature is 78 degrees, humidity 63. Now, I don't know, maybe part of the problem, or not a problem, but the results are from, like I said, I think this is a little bit shorter than most of the other uh, rollover stoves like this. This one's only 1.77 inches tall, or 45.1 millimeters. Other ones I've seen, if you looked at the can, the BU was still exposed that you could see on the side here. See so you know, like that? So I think it's a little shorter than what some of the other stoves are. When you look at it, though, as far as ease of making it, the, uh, <coughs> the Fancy Feast Wick Stove, I mean, anybody can make one of those, but it takes a little bit of skill to make one like uh, one of these stoves. Again, I'll leave a link down below to a video called Ultimate Alcohol Stove, where a guy shows how to make these in your home using a hydraulic jack. But I am a little disappointed. Hmm. Okay, so that's the... Uh, a little warm. That's the BIOS clone that I got on eBay and the, the results of the test. So, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.